Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in between. I'm Amanda. And I'm Emily. And this is Sprinkles, my sick day unicorn project. And we are yeah. back to playing Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Yes, apparently my game corrupted last save, so we had to reload an earlier save, and now we are back to the issue that we had earlier of these great big red blocks serving as blood splatter. Um, so, but we'll see what we can do. I mean, we um, were still able to get through Grout's Mansion, the big blocks. We'll fix the graphics later. Yes, right now I am trying to get the hell out of here. So someone did say um, that you were on the right track. It's just not what you were, not the way you thought would be on the uh, journal. Hey. Okay, and a bunch of people were saying, hey, Emily, you need to um, combine. I don't need blue blood. Uh, uh, combine. Um, disciplines so uh okay nope 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 all right we're just gonna keep looking for the exit i did get the pass key so fortunately i had saved um before everything crashed mm -hmm. so this is where i was i believe ah shit all right let me f fuck you up okay there you go <laughs> oh, cool <laughs> oh, crap. no funny. i didn't mean to do it again how do i turn off how do i turn off i don't know oh f8 okay okay there we go there we go All right, so now I just need to find a place, the place where I can use this pass key. Let's follow the big oh, oh, blocks of oh, blood. Oh, my cat doesn't want to be loved. Okay. Follow the bloody red trail. Follow the bloody red trail. <laughs> follow, 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 follow the bloody red trail. We okay. probably should not be following the bloody red trail. No. But okay, let's try this way. That way. Right or left? Right. 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 Oh, there are rats this way. Yeah. Right. No, this way. So this must be something. Oh, I'm sorry, little rats. I think you gotta keep going lower. I think that's the point of the warrens, at least. Okay. I'm sorry. It's, isn't this bad? I feel so bad eating, <laughs> eating rats. It's okay. It was like that in Vampire. I had no issues feeding on humans in Vampire, but, but rats. The problem with that. All right, so let's go down. down, down. Ah! Down. No, don't crap. go that way. Don't go that way then. Twenty-seven. Okay. Twenty-five. Wait. What's through there? To through twenty-four? No. Try to see if you can sneak past the three-legged thing. Great! 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 There! Oh, what's what's this thing? What is this? It's got computers. Turn around, yeah. Captain Kirk? <laughs> Alright. Slow. A fatal error has occurred. You should be panicking now. 931 2004 your system will now explode it is now safe to go to your happy place press any key to help others learn to read press control 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 to donate money to me you know the computers will soon take over why fight it press any key to continue 
funny. Is it funny? Oh, well. The depths. <laughs> Do I go down? Down, hey. down. That's the only way to go. Down, down. <laughs> <laughs> Things will be great when you're downtown. Oh, that's a drop. That's okay. Well, the ah! well, there I go. No fall damage. Yes, there Wait. is fall damage. Oh, there is. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, it's dark. It's wet. I'm swimming. Yep, this is it. I remember this. All right, should I try? Let me try and work on the brightness, or to see if I can make it brighter. Do you think? A little bit brighter would do some good in this section, at least. Yeah. Does that look better? It does look a little better. A little better. Doesn't look bad anywhere else, so you know. Did they take? Wait, but I got the symbol above the bar, so I'm not in a combat zone. I'm in a I'm in Elysium. an Elysium. Yes, you are. I hear whispering. Hey. Oh, Grow back. A CD ROM. Do the nose for Atu have a peep show? Sure That'd be really gross if they, they did. It's a sign from the lucky star. Um. Do they just keep corpses down here? Maybe people just die. Oh. I wouldn't walk in that. I hear laughing. It's all coming out of this left ear. <laughs> Can you hear it? I can't hear it because we're on Discord, so I can't hear your game. Ooh! ooh what is this? Acid. The looks of things. Excuse me? Wow. Oh! <laughs> well, you did not just try to run trays on me. All right. Came back. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I hope you backed off that server tonight. Boss is going to be real pissed when his mom starts getting love letters from porn sites. Uh, hello? What? Oh, yeah, hold on a sec. Oh, my. God, are you kidding me? What are you using for security down there at Trash 80? <laughs> Guys, it's called encryption. This is too easy. I'd let you off the hook, but stupidity always brings out the asshole in me. <laughs> um, hey there. Uh, all right, yeah. Just one minute. No, 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 nothing to worry about. Just a harmless email. Not a self-replicating embedded virus or anything. <laughs> wow, you really opened it. I can't believe you just opened it. What kind of a freaking idiot just opens it? 
Oh, so every time I've opened an email. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll just come back later. Oh, yeah, sorry. The name is Litnik. I'm in charge of computer systems, network security, that kind of thing. You're the new kid, right? McCroy's girl. Surprised you actually made it down here, huh? Um, surprised? What do you mean? I've been following your progress on the cameras. Handled yourself pretty well with all the creepy crawlers and the sewers. Like a bad sequel to Chad up there. <laughs> okay. He seems nice enough, if kind of oh, weird. Yeah, he is. Uh, you saw that? I could have used some help. Nothing I could do from here. Those old sewer systems are wired with punch cards and vacuum tubes built back in the technological dark ages. Sorry, but I don't do analog, newbie. <laughs> um, I'm a cop out. What a cop out! I'm looking for Gary. Yeah, he knows why you're here. Lacroix must be pissed. But I hope you're not here looking for some payback. Lacroix knows better than to mess with Gary, Sheriff of Ocean. Uh, I'm just here to talk. Where can I find him? His room is just down the hall. You'll probably find him there. Or maybe he'll find you. <laughs> uh huh. I'll go find him. See ya. So, funny thing about him, Mitnick. Uh huh. Um, we were just off the of stream playing Coders of New York, uh, and we were talking about the Second Inquisition. Second Inquisition is actually a thing that came out after this game. And it's because vampires started using the internet. Um, hold on. And Gary. Not Gary. Mitnick is one of those people that created it. Since that was exposed, then the Second Inquisition came through. So Gary's partially- not Gary. Mitnick is partially responsible for the creation of the Second Inquisition. <laughs> okay. Beat. I can't believe she got the cover of Glamorella this month. Who got the cover of what? I mean, just look at her. Big teeth in her complexion. Does she wash her face with a cheese grater? <laughs> um, slow down, cowgirl. What exactly are we talking about here? I mean, like anyone ever knew who Tawny Sessions was before I left the scene. She'd still be a fluff girl at Vivisection, making ten bucks a stiff if I was still around. <sighs> who is Tawny Sessions? Tawny Sessions is a wannabe face girl with no talent whatsoever and scabby little knees. She got model of the year before I got here. She would have had a hard time making the catalog for Jacques Penet. Uh, who are you? Oh, right. You probably don't recognize me with this whole Texas Chainsaw Massacre thing I've got going on here. My name is Emalia. Oh, so she must have been a former model before she was embraced. Mm -hmm. Um,. How come you hate Tawny Sessions? Before this neat little makeover, I used to be a model. I was all over the place. TV, magazines, billboards. I mean, I was hot. Oh, wait! And I knew it. Which is why Gary decided to invite me into his freaky little family. Wait, we saw her in the computer. Yes, we did. Um. Maybe you should just let it go. You'd probably be happier. Hear me your head shrink. You've got no idea what I'm going through here. I mean, I can't sit here and let the world think she's better than me. I've got to do something. Oh, goodness. Have you tried explaining? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to encourage her to kill her. Uh, have you tried exfoliating? Nobody talks that way to me. I'm Amalia. Do you hear me? Amalia! Uh, these are jokes. Come sure. on. Whatever. Tell me about how you came to be here. Nosferatu have a sixth sense of humor. Sometimes they feel that their victims, namely moi in this particular case, have an overabundance of vanity and need to be taught an important life lesson. I see. So what happened? Mate, I can hear your phone. No, I'm sorry. Well, I had just won Guy Magazine's The Most Ridiculously Hot Chick in the Known Universe award. When I came home after the ceremony, lo and behold, Gary was sitting there on my couch with a martini in his hand. You fill in the blank. So, have you learned your life lesson? Yeah, the lesson is, life is a cold-hearted bitch. 
So now I get to be one, too. You get that? You need to write it down. Okay, why not just kill her? I don't want to kill her. That's too quick and painless. I want to ruin her name in a business for good. I want to dig up something on her that smells so bad even the tabloids will think twice about printing it. Well, what's stopping you? Gary says that everyone has to lay low until this thing with the prince cools down. Until then, I'm stuck here watching the whole world kiss Tawny's big, fat ass. I mean, I could help you out. There's some wireless cameras that I need you to set up in her apartment. One in her bedroom, one in her bathroom, and one in her kitchen. I'm sure you'll see good places to hide them once you're there. What else? Once the cameras are in place, you'll need to hook them up to the network. Log into our computer using the password Cleopatra. From there, you'll be able to activate the camera. What's in it for me? Look, I'll definitely make it worth your while if you do it right. But listen, I don't want her dead. I want her to suffer. Get in and get out without her knowing about it. Understand? I'll do it. You will? Great. Here are the cameras. She lives in Hollywood, an apartment building right across from the Lucky Star Motel. I had someone here dig up a spare key to her apartment for me. Take that, too. Thanks, I'll take care of it. See ya. So now, wait, so now I have to come back here. Yes. Oh, this is it, gonna be an actual... There'll be a shortcut, don't worry. You won't have to go through the sewers again. <clears throat> Galgen? I don't think this is where his room is, because he said just down the hall. Yeah. Oh, shit! No! How do I get out? Oh, no! Uh... One of the uh, things that's leaning over? Oh my gosh. All right, anything I miss in the garbage? I think it was just the CD. Okay. Okay, I was in here. There's nowhere else for me to go. Okay. Something wicked this way comes. I don't remember seeing you on the guest list for the dinner party. We're having a rap party for the misfits about 40 years late. Cast and crew only, boss. Where are you? Maybe I'm in your head. Uh-oh. You might have picked up one of those psychoses so common to new kindred. I just need to talk. We are talking, but you aren't listening, boss. Where are you? Let's talk face to face. I'm over here, boss. Wait, maybe I'm over here. Or maybe I'm behind you with a hatchet in my hand. Or did you ever stop to think that your fear, if given a voice, would sound like this? Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter, boss? You scared? That's good. Shows you've been paying attention. What do you want? <laughs> I don't know, boss. 
boss. You tell me. After all, I didn't crash your party. I'm here about the Ankaran sarcophagus. You don't say. Wake up, boss. Who do you think you're dealing with? Why else would LaCroix send you on this snipe hunt? Oh, that's right. I know you work for the prince. Just tell me about the sarcophagus. You should have got here sooner. That lot's been sold. Who bought it? I like to discuss business face to face. What the hell have I been trying to do for the past five minutes? <laughs> Are you sure, boss? You don't want my image in your subconscious. It's the stuff nightmares are made of. <sighs> the suspense is killing me. Careful what you wish for. You just might get it. <laughs> yeah. Behind you, boss. Oh. Oh, please. I. <laughs> what? Do I know. Recognize me from the pictures. Gorgeous Gary Golden. Don't tell me you missed Pirate Town or Tap Hotel. <gasps> Little before your time, eh, boss? Well, those days are long past. Nowadays, it's just Gary. This. Oh, Amanda. I knew you made me look him up. <laughs> yeah, I just want to say. <laughs> after trucking through that Samishi hellhole. Mm -hmm. Is Gary really, really the worst thing that you've seen in this game so far? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. And I will tell you why he is acting this way. It is because Gary wishes that he was Toreador. And the reason I knew off the top of my head that Voice in the Dark boss was referring to Gary is because he hates you if you're Toreador. And it's because he wishes he was one. So because he's not... He's pulling out this victim narrative <laughs> that he is Poor the ugliest Gary. thing. But yeah. <laughs> Where's the sarcophagus? Where, where, where did it go? That thing seems to get around more than May West. <laughs> Why might I ask, should I give you that information? But like other Nosferatu, I will say what he lacks in looks, he certainly makes up for in personality. All right. So, I got rid of the Samishi for you. Oh, my hero. Had it not been for that damn Shamisi, you'd still be searching under rocks for us. It was hardly a favor, but I know where your prince's prize is. There's very little that doesn't leak down into this place. Tell me, boss, you ever gone up against a Kuei Jin? What's a Kuei Jin? The Kuei Jin are vampires, but not like kindred. Sometimes known as the vampires of the East. But they ain't kin, boss. They're just someone else that, if you ain't being careful, might give you the final death. Was that guy I killed in Santa Monica? Yes. Because he was, was looking following... at canines. He referred yeah. to as canines instead. Tell me more. Even for old Gary, there ain't much more to tell. You see, I sent an agent, Barabbas, to snoop around Chinatown, do a little hacking, make a few contacts. But he hasn't been calling lately, and it's breaking my heart. Ah. Go on. Oh, damn it. What is this? Every time I need something, someone wants a favor. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I feel that way too, but... You up for a little trip to Chinatown? You're in no danger there. Me. <laughs> Best you don't mention my name there, boss. That's the going rate for my info right now. You get our chum back from Chinatown. I'll give you what you need. Deal. Tell me what you need me to do. The Golden Temple in Chinatown. It's a piss poor copy of a real place. Looks like it'd be more at home in a theme park. That I saw is where you'll find the leader of the L.A. Kui Jin. They call her Ming Zhao. Sounds dangerous? No, this ain't a Sounds racist. Boss. You'll be more of a curiosity than a threat. Talk to Zhao. Ask her where my boy is and get him back. Once he's safe, I'll tell you everything you need to know about the sarcophagus. Um. Aren't the kindred at war? Not that I know of. It's like the eye of the hurricane right now. 
Don't make those winds blow, boss. Got anything I can, can use to protect myself? Let's see what I got. Use your head and your eyes. Chinatown's more liable to offer you than ten Hollywoods. But not if you're smart. Alright. You better keep your end of the deal. Of course. What kind of a monster do you take me for? <laughs> there is a method to my madness, boss. There's a payphone in Chinatown. I'll call you with the info once Barabbas is safe. Until then, you'll never know where I am. All right, this is good as done. Bye. Now, how do I get out of here? There should be a shortcut out to the actual Hollywood so you don't have to go through the sewers again. Thank goodness. <clears throat> oh, and yes, some people maybe will want to um, go back downtown, go see Heather. Yeah, no, that's I was going to do that. Okay, cool. Yeah, because I know you read the comments. People like, go downtown, go see Venus. Yeah, I need more money and I need... Hey, hey, what the... That was a long fall. we go I bet this is where they thought Gary they decided to put Gary Gary's grave yep yeah here we go that's a nice shortcut yeah it's not I mean it's not a pleasant one but it's a shortcut <laughs> I mean it's better than where you were going through yes Andre and his disgusting house yes where the furniture was made of people's skin mm. I have gained territory <laughs> All right, let me save. Good idea. And then let's go back downtown. Yeah. Do we have anything else we have to do downtown? We'll do um, this, the model one when we come back here. Yes. And... Oh, let's, let's see if we can talk to... Oh, the reporter. Oh, yeah. Let's see if we can find the reporter. Yeah, and if you want, well, we know who that... Oh, sorry, go ahead. I think I do know where he is, because when I replayed this game, uh, after we got the patch, mm -hmm. um, I did get into the basement of that apartment building, and I did find a computer, and I think he's in that apartment building. Right, the one that you live in? Yes. Okay, so then we'll just kill two birds with one stone, then. Um, another thing you can do if you want, we should be able to go find that serial killer again. The guy who killed Muddy? Oh, yes. right, yeah! So we have to go to Santa Monica as well. Yes. Um, Alright, so let's and go I downtown think, first, and, and I think, Santa Monica. I think someone said because our weapons were um, a little bit behind, we could either go to wait and go to Chinatown, or we can go to Mercurio. Um, so, might as well check out Mercurio, I guess. Going okay. Just drive. So let's go downtown first, and then we'll go back to Santa Monica. Mm -hmm. Now do you understand why I hate the sewer levels so much? Yes. This is just a piece. I hated that hole. <laughs> All right. It's Venus. You survived. Nah. Actually, let's talk to Pisha since we're right here. Can you talk to her without the reporter? All right. I don't want to kill him. Well, that's the whole thing with the masquerade. It's like what a- I know, and Velvet... I do have a masquerade violation. But it's like that thing that Velvet said. Oh wait, no, she's- the wrong way. Yeah, this is to the uh, bar, I think. Yeah. But it's like that thing that- Wait! Said. Let's see if Nines is here! There's a blood hunt on Nines! What did you just say? 
I have some yeah. questions. Okay, nothing. I care. Oh, sh I'll see you later. Okay. What did I do? I know what I saw. I'm thinking one or three. I mean, I saw him there. But I don't think they're lying. All right, I don't know any more than you do, to be perfectly honest. Where did nines go? All right. Listen, kid. You did what you had to do. Just a messenger, right? Skelter didn't take us so lightly. Don't worry about Skelter. He's like all these big barking pups nowadays. They don't bite unless they get cornered. Where's Nines? Nines got word. I'd wager he's gonna be laying low for a while. They'll stand up for him, right? Yeah, sure. But there's packs of youngsters out there who'd love to make a name by bringing in the head that Nines Rodriguez. What can I do? <laughs> you just eager to please, ain't you? I could give a goddamn kid. And I'm sure the boys here would appreciate it if you kept the business as usual. You hear me? I can do Just that. Just a second. I heard you were down poking around the museum. How'd you find that out? Kid, you don't live to be as old as me without cultivating a few connections. The least of which should be able to penetrate the iron veil of the local natural history <laughs> museum. <laughs> I suppose so. Ah. Croy wants that coffin bad. Uh, you could say that. He told me not to come back until I had it. Seems like he has a lot riding on that sarcophagus. It's such a fierce bug in that powdered wheat bins. Why do you think that is? I got another scenario for you here, kiddo. I'm gonna bounce it off you, see what you think. You ever hear of, uh, what is that? Well, it's when a vampire drains another more powerful vampire to death. Diablerie is the Sabbat specialty, but it's a big taboo in civilized kindred circles, and damn sure forbidden by the Camarilla. Remember what I said, the closer you are to Cain, the more powerful you are? Right. Why is it so taboo? When a younger vampire diablerizes younger vampire gains all of their powers. So you don't think... Prince is willing to tear L.A. apart to find this thing so he can have it. Why? What would a power-hungry vampire like the Croy want with a sleeping ancient? Hmm. I wonder... What should I do? You gotta figure a drop of ancient blood would make any kindred just about invulnerable. Anyone who has a sarcophagus is gonna be thinking the same thing. If LaCroix gets a sarcophagus, at least we know where it is. All right. Sure thing, kid. Sir. All right. The Oops. Work, Shoot. Faked it. No. Oh, I encountered one in Hollywood. No kid. Was this? The evil bastard ran into one down in Mexico, had this whole village of experiments. Like nothing you ever seen in a movie. Six, six, yeah. Alright, bye. So Damsel followed me to the museum. Or at least she had intel. Yes. Ah. Alright. Wait. 
right. Nope, that's right. Wait, I could go through this way, right? Yeah, there's gotta be some shortcuts here. <laughs> I don't know. Oops. Wait! That, that, mm. Fire! Okay, no, this was... The place where you're looking for the truth or whatnot. Which had to do with the plague Oops. bearer. But I can't get in now. Let's go get our money. And the reporter yeah. and the apartment. <clears throat> I suppose you could talk to Strauss again if you wanted to, but you don't have to. Do you I want feel... me to? No, I get the feeling where you're leaning towards in this game. Well, that's good. Well, now I'm going to go talk to Strauss. <laughs> Just because you don't want me to. No, I didn't say that. I just, I, it's, it's just a continuation of what I said earlier that, you know, this game, you're right, this game does, I think, lean more he positively on the Anarchs than the Camarilla, unless you go out of your way to, like, do things like talk to Strauss, if that makes sense. Hello, neonate. How? Give a few of minutes. Course. What is I have a few it questions. Like to know? What do you know about the Ankaran sarcophagus? More than yourself, but I do know that Lacroix is much too focused on acquiring it. His obvious need for it reveals a weakness that his enemies may one day exploit. What do you think's inside? No, although I must admit that I sense a change in the night air, something subtle and not altogether pleasant. Perhaps the arrival of the sarcophagus is the harbinger of something more dreadful. Like what? I will say no more. Alright. <laughs> yeah, he'll probably have more to say once you're done with the Plague Bearer, but anyway. Um, yeah, do you want me to... Sh should I do the Plague Bearer stuff? Yeah, you probably could. Wait, here. This. Oh, yeah, and someone keeps mentioning in the comments that we need to increase our research. Scholarship, yeah. Yeah. No! <laughs> Someone else in the comments earlier, earlier on when you first spoke with Strauss, um, said he calls you Neonate, um, because he's supposed to be a reference to a certain character, um, a 2000s movie. Neonate. <laughs> yes, Manda. <laughs> I wonder who that could be. I wonder. <gasps> There we go. Let's go get our money. Money, right? Been a while. Your money's been piling up. Here, that should provide for an interesting evening. Oh, wow! Yep, <laughs> thanks. Alright, who's this mm -hmm. lady? Hey there, lesby friends. <laughs> wow. You can drink from her, is what it's saying. Excuse me. I'm... Okay, then. We'll just pass on. Yeah, you're pretty full. Plus, you've got Heather now. <laughs> Poor Heather. No, I beg your pardon. Okay. Do the ugly deed. Have talking to Heather or uh, Man, I mean, finding the, the or finding the reporter. Yeah, either one or the other. You pick. All right, let's let's. I forget which room which room he's in, but we're at the top floor, right? Uh, it should say so on your key chain. Floor you want. Okay. 
is not your place. <laughs> no. This was... What's her face? Is the other girl who was infected. Yeah. Say on your keychain what your floor is. Well, I'm just gonna keep going and then I'm gonna see which... Where the reporter is. This is not me either. Completely forgot about this wallpaper. What wallpaper? The oh, wall this wallpaper. <laughs> <laughs> you never know, he could be hiding. gonna go in here. Come on. This is me. I just broke into my own apartment. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> oh, maybe we should check our emails. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Someone said there are more side quests that way. Aha. Sorry, my phone alarm went off. A former convict that was recently released for good behavior was found butchered, similarly to the other victims of the serial killer. Police believe there may be a connection between Milton's prison past okay. and the slasher. We'll oh, oh, three and red. Okay. Later tonight. A recent outbreak of several highly contagious diseases in downtown Los Angeles. Business in Hollywood. Los Angeles may be a hot zone for a deadly new type oh, LaCroix. I have a certain financial interest in a restaurant in Hollywood called the Cavaletti Cafe. I have made an offer on the establishment that is more than generous, but it seems that the owners are remiss to accept. It is my understanding that a renowned food critic named Tommy Flayden <laughs> will be writing an art article about the restaurant very soon. Please interview, intercept him there and make sure the review is unfavorable. Okay. The star was entombed in the Hollywood Eternal Mausoleum after her death in 1964. Oh. Nothing was stolen from the crypt, but estimates put the damage at over $1,000. Professor Anders Johansson, the archaeologist responsible for the discovery of the Incarn sarcophagus, issued a brief statement today, imploring the parties responsible for the Incarn sarcophagus's <laughs> robbery to return the relic, saying that it is a valuable piece of human history that rightfully belongs to the entire world. Johansson went on to add, this theft is not just from the museum, but from all of mankind. Johansson, a professor of archaeology at the University of Oslo, is in town to speak to his peers about his recent dig in Turkey and coordinate examination of the artifacts found at the Incarn site, including the sarcophagus. Concerned parent groups joined several senators on the step of... Okay, anyway, so this is from a friend again. The cost of an attack is often paid later. Rimperman called the game's pornography and was offended by crude shots taken at him by one recent game. Among the titles, the group is trying to get banned from I couldn't read the text. Um, what were you listening to on the news? It was about the sarcophagus. Okay, what else is unread? Prince is promoting you? Oh, Gary. Hey, boss. Did some spring cleaning today. Came across something that might tickle you. A kid used to live here had an unhealthy crush on everyone's favorite psycho pinup, Jeanette Vorman. I got a touch of nostalgia, so you find a copy of Tap Hotel starring me. I'll trade you a poster of that luscious lunatic for it. Put the videotape in your mailbox and I'll deliver it to your haven. Oh, please. <laughs> That's some nice... Professor Andrews, you're handsome. Oh, you're, you're back. I, um, I went out this evening and I, well, I met someone and he wouldn't leave me alone, so I, he came back here with me and, well, I thought you might want to, you know, want to drink his blood. Wow. Wow. 
What? Where is he? Uh, in the bathroom. I, uh, I locked, I locked him in. Did I mess up? Um. Maybe I'm overacting. Or, uh, I, mm, I don't know if you should bring people back. And then not be able, and then not leave. I'll see what I can do. Calm down. There's been a misunderstanding. As soon as I get out of here, I'm calling the goddamn cops. Let's see what they think of this, huh? I'll lock up both your asses. Yes, whatever. What the hell does that mean? Wait, why are you looking at me like that? Hey. Come here. Oops. Oh. Oh. Damn it. How's my humanity? Alright, it's still okay. <laughs> what? It's fine. What's done is done. Alright. Alright. Los Angeles may be a hot zone for a deadly new type of communicable virus. Local hospitals started okay, somebody else said we should unload some stuff, uh, because... Tongue? Maybe you can put that in the, uh, in the computer. Computer? Exercise caution and to seek medical treatment immediately if they exhibit symptoms that include fever, hacking cough, nausea, rashes or sores, painful discharges, or sudden sustained bleeding. Religious tourists have been flocking in droves to the Santa Maria Church in Santiago, How? Spain. Can you After give it to Bertram? Claim to have seen statues of the Madonna begin crying blood. The site dates back to the period of the Romans and has several reported okay. virgin sightings throughout its history. One pilgrim reported that they witnessed blood um, coming from no less than let's six statues give of that. the sunset. And that the courtyard These would apparently we can sevens. sell. Skeptics have been quick to point out that this phenomena has been debunked. And witnesses are no more credible than those that report UFOs. Freaks Makes you the undead rock feller. <laughs> Give that. Give that. Oh, look. Vomiturgical creatures. E. Bankins, Regent, Chicago. Gargoyles. During the medieval conflict with the Samishi clan, Tremere delved further into secret blood magics and created a race of protectors known as gargoyles. Since their inception, gargoyles have been used as scouts, warriors, and sentries. Gargoyles are monsters, vampires by virtue of the blood and flesh through which they are created. They are no more than the detrius of other clans, given a second chance to serve their Tremere creators. Unfortunately, many have wrongly come to view their service as slavery and have fled their masters in search of some delusional utopia. Most escaped gargoyles live in isolation, preferring solitude to even the company of their own kind. Homunculi, full metal alchemist. <laughs> For the most menial and mindless tasks, many Tremere create what is called a homunculus. They are mindless creatures which take many forms, winged, many-legged, or otherwise. Homunculi are unfailingly loyal, but their appearance makes them a serious threat to breaking the masquerade. Okay, give that. Maybe until you get your scholarship up. Well, yeah, I can probably get the diary up, too. Yeah. Until you can get your scholarship. Oh, biography of the 1930s circus performer Scarlet the Perforated Lady Torkelson. Best known as the assistant to Shaky Sillman Freddy, the notorious epileptic knife thrower. This book raises your dodge challenge. Oh, there you go. Can you use it? Star was entombed in the Hollywood Eternal Mausoleum after her death in 1964. Nothing was found from the crypt, but estimates put the damage over a thousand. All right, there we go. Hey, there we go. All right, let's see if we can inc uh, increase research. They said scholarship specifically. 
Scholarship and intelligence. Okay, I need three. So not right now. Senators on the step of Capitol Hill to protest the latest wave of violent video games. Senator Limperman called the games pornography and was offended by crude shots taken at him by one recent game. Among the titles the group is trying to get banned from stores are Mangle Garden, Rape and Pillage, and A Blink okay. and Peaches this I'm gonna Protesters saying put away. extended media attention I don't need that. games such as Meth Tycoon promotes parental awareness of their adult content okay. and lesson children. Cruising in my lane fast, call it high speed. I've been working hard, yeah. I've been